Hello and welcome, my name is Johnny, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about the bass guitar. Now I think that it's important, whenever learning an instrument, to spend time on the technical aspects like fingering exercises and learning music theory while still making time to learn songs. So what we're going to do today is look at one of the building blocks of music theory, the major pentatonic scale, and then we're going to see how that relates to a popular song that you probably already know. I think you'll be surprised by how easy it is when we look at it this way. So our starting note is going to be C. That's the third fret of the A string. Here's what the scale sounds like. It has a really sweet and melodic sound to it, right? That's the kind of sound that you've probably heard a lot in music so far. So, what I'm going to do now is show you how to find the rest of the notes in the scale. Starting from C, we're going to go up two frets, a whole step, to D. This is our major second, and if you don't know what major second means yet, that's totally okay. This is something we're going to come back to and we'll be learning continuously. From D, we're going to go up another whole step, except this time, instead of going up two frets on the same string, we're going to find the note here on the D string. This is E, and it's on the second fret of the D string. The reason we're going to finger the scale this way is so that we can keep our hand in the same position the whole time we play the scale, but it's important to remember that every scale has a multitude of fingerings that will work. From E, we're going to go up three more frets to G. Now from G, we're going to go up another whole step. And the same way we found the E from the D, we're going to go up to the next string on the second fret to find the A, the second fret of the G string. Now finally, to finish the scale off, we're going to go up three more frets and find our C again. This C is an octave above our low C that we started on. So once again, here's the scale with the names of the notes. C. Now, the fingering that is very important to remember while we do this scale to keep it nice and smooth goes as follows. We start with the low C with our middle finger. We get the D on the fifth fret with our pinky. Then we get the E on the second fret of the D string with our index finger. Then we use our pinky to get our G on that same string, fifth fret. Then we're going to use our index again to find the A on the G string, 2nd fret. And then our last note, the C, will be our pinky again, 5th fret. So the way I recommend you practice this scale is to take a metronome, put it really slow, as slow as you need to, or even maybe a little bit slower, to make sure that we get it as smooth as possible. And you can gradually increase the tempo from there. Now the song that we're going to look at today that uses this scale is My Girl, a classic tune. Now we're just going to look at the main line. It goes like this. As you can see, it's all the same notes of the pentatonic scale, just rearranged in a slightly groovier way. So here's the line again, and I'll count through it. One two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and... So the most important things to remember with this line is that that first note, the low C, is going to get a little extra time. The second thing to remember is that it's going to be a little bit difficult jumping down from the high C back to the low C. It's totally normal for this to be difficult. And again, I encourage practicing slowly with a metronome to make this transition nice and smooth. So I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and learned a little bit about how we can use music theory to learn some of our favorite songs.